to Sean and Defensively, that didn't look like where you guys had been, especially in the first half. Like, what, what was maybe some of the disconnect there defensively? You know, I really, I don't know if it, we we weren't our best, but you got to give Iowa credit. They, they make you look like that. I mean, we were, I said, we were on spin cycle the entire game, and, and credit them. You know, they took advantage of, you know, our help defense, and then they got kickouts, and, and now we're playing in rotations. And we're a team. We don't want to play in rotations. We want to try to keep the ball in front, stay one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so it starts with our ball screen coverage. We weren't as sharp in. And then, again, I just give Iowa all the credit because they were super aggressive in getting downhill and getting to the paint, and that just opened up. I mean, they hit 17 threes. You can't beat anyone when they hit 17 threes, and, and that was all from inside out action. And I mean, that being said, Adalia, for the most part, especially in the first half, did as good as I think you could hope to do yeah. on Caitlin. Like, what did you see from her? Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, I thought we did a good job overall on, on Caitlin. I mean, she's such a just talented player. Obviously, you're never going to totally hold her down, but I thought we made her work for her stuff. But I also think Caitlin did an elite job of coming out and really being a facilitator, which I kind of had a hunch she would do, really trying to end this game after Indiana, really getting her teammates involved, and she just draws so much attention. So you're so concerned about her, and then she is, you know, I think her best skill set, obviously, besides she can pass. She can pass the ball and her vision, those things, I mean, they're just, she just on, on point every pass. So she really set up you know, those 17 threes that they made, a lot of them were from her. How, did they, how tough are they? is she to defend when she can do all that stuff? I mean, she's obviously, she's so hard to, to yeah. guard. And, you know, you, you try to put different people on her just to keep someone fresh on her. But I think that's why she's so hard is because of her ability to pass the ball. Mm -hmm. She's not just a scorer. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so she can get in there, and she, she's so great at, at and their offense. I mean, it's obviously tailor-made to, to fit their personnel. And, yeah, she's she's incredibly difficult to, to stop, and I thought we did a great job for the most part. And she had 24 points, and now I know how many assists. So, um, just an elite player, and I've said it. I think she's the best ever, you know, to ever play. So, does it believe your game plan to make her give the ball up to have her spread around the other people? No, I mean, I really, I just had a feeling she was going to come in to this game really wanting to do that and, and getting, you know, her teammates some open shots. But she, she's just, again, elite passer, elite scorer. Uh, we want to just try to limit her touches as much as we can and, and be there on everything. And I thought we did. She hit a couple of really tough shots, but otherwise uh, most of her stuff um, was in transition and, and around, and, you know, it's hard. Was that maybe the most disappointing thing, Sean, was just their ability to get out on the break and get easy buckets that way against you guys and have you guys maybe not get back as much as you want? Yeah, again, they're so – we knew coming in, I think I told you guys that the defensive transition was going to be key. Yeah. But they're just so quick with getting that ball up the floor. And so if you have a turnover or even a, a shot that you don't make, which in the first half we weren't making some of those shots we normally make. So now they have opportunities to get out and run. Um, second half, I felt like we didn't get as, give up as many in transition. But, you know, they're really, really good at it, and, and all of them. And, and Caitlin does a great job of just advancing the ball, too. It kind of felt like a moment for Makaira to play as well and efficiently as yeah. she did, really. Like, what can that do the next two and going into Minneapolis? I mean, she, she Makaira loves these moments, right? She always plays well against, I think, in these environments. And, and you know, that's a gamer in her and the competitive nature of her. And, you know, her and, and Clark, that was fun watching them go back and forth, you know, a, a few times. And, um, you know, so I think she was really, really good today and, and just really took over at certain points. And then I thought her defense was really good when she was on Clark, too. So we need her to do that. Um, we had a very balanced scoring with all five and double figures, um, and, and we just need to continue that scoring. Just can't give up uh, 100 points in, in, in conference playing the expect to win games. So what's your message to your team? You guys obviously play the top five team on the road, but what's your message to your girls, your women in the locker room? My message was, like we fought and that's what I loved. We fought, we never, we, we didn't just, you know, quit ever. And we made runs. We won the third quarter and we, we lost the fourth quarter by only three. We just can't get her, we can't get down. You can't get down in this environment by 15 or so points. You just can't do that against a team like Iowa. So I said, we are, like every other game, we're gonna learn from this. We're gonna look at it. We gotta figure out how we were, why we were in rotation so much. Um, we'll go to work on that, and, and we're you know we're right back at it at Michigan State. So I don't want them to you know be mad, be upset you you lost because no one likes to lose. But uh, we just played a really really good team on on their home floor after they just got beat by a really good team, and and we knew we were going to get a really <laughs> strong fight, and and we did. And again, I give I give Iowa uh, all the credit. They they just played a extremely 
well team win for them today. Not to belabor the point about the environment, but what was it like? I know you talked about it and thought you were the new, yeah. like, what was it like to actually be yeah. uh, I think it did rouse us early. I, you know, you, you can try to prepare, but I mean, it's, it got loud in there, and, and there was times and they were intentional. You know, Caitlin was getting them going after even a, like the first couple of defensive possessions, she was getting them going. So it was really, really loud. And I think it kind of took us out of a rhythm early on, and then I told them, you know, we settled in and, and, and you know, we were a little bit better. But it also, it's hard that first half because I'm trying to call stuff and they're down there. So there was a lot of times on timeouts, I'm giving them, you know, multiple plays. But then when there's some, and I thought that then we got some stagnant sometimes, and you know, but a great environment. It's obviously a home court advantage, and uh, it, was, it was fun though, right? This is what women's basketball should be like, and, and just what an unbelievable atmosphere that they've created.